What's going down, YouTube Town? It's your homeboy, Captain Retro, and I am back with Season 3, Episode 1 of the Captain Retro Show! Hooray! Was that good enough for the start? I think so. This. This is artwork on the back of wallpaper torn from my mother's bathroom that I apparently, as a 12 or 13 year old child, decided to draw things on the bathroom walls before she re-wallpapered them. Over the holidays, she tore some wallpaper down and repainted, and this came off with some of the wallpaper. There's all kind of crazy drawings. What the hell was going on with Captain Retro as a 12-year-old? Crazy things. That's what. Season 3 is on us, guys, and we are here. It's time for the Top 10 shoot 'em up Showdown. I've got a great rating system this week. I, I thought about trying to find Cupcake Fart Girl, but there's really not a whole lot of Cupcake Fart Girls. There is this crazy bitch. And there's also this silly thing. What I like the most, cupcake farts. <laughs> the rating system this week might be kind of uh, nostalgic for all involved. At least these are the commercials I remember from my childhood. Especially because I have the guy that drew that picture. I'm a weirdo. After these messages, we'll be right back. You know I cook any. Yeah, you do. Pork chop sandwiches. Oh shit, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Go, get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot. Fuck, we're all dead. Get the fuck out. My God, did that smell good. You detect it. There's you no know, going and you tell me do things. I done running. G.I. Joe! Coming in at number 10 on the countdown are two Wii U games. Now these, I consider them one because they both belong to the same system and they were both on the same clearance at Walmart. They were $5 a piece. The uh, Pac-Man, the Ghostly Adventures, uh, I don't know anything about this. I'm sure Murr knows what's going on with this Pac-Man game. And Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, I'm probably not going to open these. They're probably just going to stay sealed. Why the hell not? go up there with the Wii U stack and just be kind of in the Wii U world. I, I do play the Wii U a good bit, but mainly there's like 15 games that I rotate around and that's that's about it. But we might we might open the Spider-Man game. I haven't played that on any other system. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a game worth my freaking time. It's probably not worth your money. My time, that is. According to YouTube, my time's not worth your money. After these messages, we'll be right back. It's adulthood. With adulthood action figures, you can be alcohol and cigarettes. But watch out, because here comes Sinister Checkbook. Grr. And his henchman pregnancy test. I'm positive. Do, 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 do. Maybe I can help. Who will win this epic showdown? Not you. It's not really that great. It's adulthood. Whether you like it or not, action figures are vehicles sold separately. Number nine. Godzilla destroy all monsters on the GameCube complete in the box good stuff good melee fighting game You pick the different monsters you run around legendary monsters epic battles big maps big worlds total massive destruction of everything And, and you fight against friends or or with friends. Uh, it's it's a co-op game I think you can go around two player. There's four player fighting may mayhem up to four players It's been a minute since I played it, but I'm gonna play it again now that I have it on the GameCube awesome.com After these messages We'll be right back. Yeah Susie, don't forget your sandwiches. Hey, I made you sandwiches. Oh, you boys look so lovely in your little outfits. Hey, what's up, Miss Mr. Lafitti? Hey, watch me alley. Oh, I just want to eat you up. Love a tattoo, Mr. Lafitti. Look at all your different colored hats. G.I. Joe! Number eight! Robotech Battle Cry on the Nintendo GameCube complete in box. 
these came from the same lot of uh, stuff that I picked up from my guy. This one looks really nice. It looks like it's never been played. Actually, the disc is super clean, and that's because this is probably not the best game, but I'm a big Robotech guy. I dug this shit as a kid, and I don't really have a whole lot. I never really collected it, but I'm looking out for it when I see it. So, Robotech, go Robotech. Check out some Robotech. After these messages, we'll be right back. My brother Wild Pete and I have been professional Powerball hunters since 1988 when it was first spotted in Oregon. Since that time, we have blazed a trail across America following all the millionaires it has left in its wake, and we believe it's heading to Georgia. Now, if you don't believe me, here's one of our closest encounters with the Powerball. Warning! Powerball may cause pockets full of cash and family coming out of the woodwork. Number seven, Singularity on the Xbox 360. Another Walmart closeout at five dollars. It says 11.25. It was down in the five dollar bin, and that's what it rung up for. So hooray for me! Singularity is an awesome time travel game. You are—it's a first-person shooter. You're fighting in the past, and you're also in the present. It's—it's it's about the Soviet Union and America. It's very Bioshocky. It came out around the same time as the first Bioshock, probably right after that. It's got some similarities but it's also got some great gameplay and very fun game very fast paced the shooting is frantic and hectic and, and quite fun totally worth your five dollars after these messages we'll be right back i'm Dun grown Dun grown dolls this season's sassiest playmates for ages five and up we go to the hottest club each girl comes ready to party with her very own okay. these girls got it all yellow shots I'm done grunt. They play it fast and loose and they're up for anything. I do cocaine. I'm done grunt. I go anal because I'm done grunt. Keep looking sideways at me like that. I'll smack a bitch. I'm done grunt. Bitches get stitches. I'm done grown. I'm done grown, doll. The fastest gangs around. Each old separately brought to you by Tom Funnel. I'll suck the skin off your dick because I'm done grown. Number six. Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat. I finally found a copy of this in the wild. I think I paid $8 for it in a pack of other games that I bought too. It was actually at a store, but in my discount and a couple different things, it brought it down to eight bucks. And you never see Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat anywhere. Only thing you hear about this game is when Pat the NES Punk talks about it. Check out Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hey kid, do you? Yeah. What about you? Hey teach, do you? Do I what? Do you? Splooge. I would never. You should. Splooge is the new cool thing. It's warm, sticky, and drippy. I love it. Splooge is non-toxic mm. and comes in two flavors, pineapple and salty. It's weird. Use Splooge to play practical jokes. Wait, is this? Watch your hair. Don't worry, Mom. Clean up is a cinch. Now Splooge comes with special Ooh, Splooge radical. shooters. Pump it up and let it rip. I love shooting Splooge. Watch out, sis. Daddy, look at my necklace. Splooge. Um, what'd you say about homework? What are you doing? now from the makers of the baby batter easy bake oven number five wolf child on the super nintendo i don't know shit about this game not one effing thing let me know in the comments if you know one effing thing about this game after these messages we'll be right back oh no the table isn't cleared and the rug needs to be vacuumed call iron maid that's right kids it's iron maid Marta Gutierrez was an average housekeeper until a freak washing machine accident rendered her incapable of performing domestic duties. Determined to get her paycheck, Marta built the ultimate cleaning uniform and became Iron Maid. She now stands for truth, justice, and cleaner dishes. Wow! Help Iron Maid vacuum the house, dust the piano, unclog the toilet. Cool! Oh no, supervillains are attacking. Will Iron Maid stop them? Not on laundry day. She puts filth in its place, cause grime doesn't pay. Iron Maid's the best. And coming soon, do a little spring cleaning of your own with Iron Maid battle action play gear. Thanks, Iron Maid. Iron Maid comes with nothing you see here. Pedro the plumber and the fat white guy sold separately. And be sure to see the Iron Maid movie coming soon to theaters from Flashback Films. Number four is a toy, Star Trek Tricoder, complete in the box, it's never been opened from the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, it, I don't know if it makes noises anymore. It's making noises.
Everything seems okay here, Captain. You you don't tell me. I'm the captain. Totally rad to have something like this. I don't really collect Star Trek toys per se. I do like Star Trek video games, and I love most of the movies. Uh, this is pretty damn dope. I might bust it out and be a Star Trek fanboy kind of one day and go around shooting things with my, my tricoder. I guess you don't shoot things with a tricoder. You shoot things with a phaser. I got a phaser completing the box. Number three is a phaser. Star Trek phaser, and I don't think it makes noises either, but it might. It does make noises. I lie. Every time I say I don't think things, I really do think things. I knew it made noises. That's a stun. And that's a kill. Hold on. Kill things. So cool. These were both complete in the box and I paid $10 a piece for these. Couldn't believe it. I said, give them to me. I'm running out of your store right now. Thrift stores, sometimes they know what they've got. Sometimes they don't know what they got. I think these go for about 30 or 40 bucks a piece online. They're very cool. They're going to go in the collection and they're going to stay here with the captain. Hooray for Star Trek. After these messages, we'll be right back. Guys, like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you know what's good for you and you like, guys, you like to yell and say like, subscribe, and comment a lot. Like and subscribe and comment, thanks. Number two on the countdown, I got time tracks on the Super Nintendo complete in the box. I have had this game before loose. It got sold in the giant sell-off of stuff. Now I've got it back. I, I think $34.99, something like that. Canadian plus 10 bucks to ship it from Canada. So about 44 bucks, 45 bucks, something like that after all was said and done to get a complete in box copy of Time Tracks. This game is incredibly fun and incredibly good. I did a little bit of a playthrough and a review basically about the first level and the opening of the game and how closely it resembles. Uh, you, you can find that right here. If I'm able to link things, I, I should be able to figure this out. Yeah, so check that out and check this out. This game's awesome. It's a... Uh, it's a time travel game. You're a cop and you go back in time. And it's basically time cop before time cop. Look at my full review to figure that out. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yeah. I want to throw up. Those kids are real rats. That's why I send them to my Toys for Brats. This week at Toys for Brats, check out Baby Cuts A Lot. That's good. Electroland Places. Sowie. Meat Farm. Whoa. Skill Saw. That's sharp. And Play-Doh Radioactive Gloop. So when you get a big urge to hit those kids with a bat, just send them down to Toys for Brats. The world's biggest ripoff. Number one on the countdown this week, fellas, is a Turbo Graphics 16 game that is very elusive. Apparently, goes for about 150, complete in the box, and it is Dungeons and Dragons: Order of the Griffin by SSI. Game uh, is pretty cool. Got oh oh my god, it fell out. I, I turned it on. It seems super in depth. You pick your team, you start a little thing, and you go out. And it's a lot of reading stuff, a lot of a lot of text. Totally cool though, I like reading things. Murr would eat this game alive. I got it with a TurboGrafx-16 and a 3DO and a stack of 3DO games, a bunch of cool stuff in there. Star Control 2, uh, Wing Commander 3, which I'm playing right now and I've been sending Murr pictures. I'll put some pictures of that right here. Right there, we'll put some pictures of that right there. Star, uh, check out how good the FMV on Wing Commander looks. So here's Wing Commander 3 on the 3DO, straight off my television. Uh, hey, it looks incredible for an FMV game. I've never really sat and played it. I knew Mark Hamill was in it. I knew Biff was in it. I'd seen it played years ago. It's great. It's great so far. I know, right? Like, it's incredible. Anyway, pick that up for a stack. I paid 300 bucks for a 3DO and a TurboGrafx-16. Uh, Keith Courage was with it. Uh, Order of the Griffin. A couple other games floating around. Power Blade and a stack of 3DO games. It's well worth my money. And uh, now, I, now I've got Order of the Griffin. So check that out, guys. Got Order of the Griffin. <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment if you like guys who get Order of the Griffin. <laughs> I don't know who that guy was, and I don't like him. After these messages, we'll be right back. Guys, Cody and the gang are at the park playing football with Down Down Darius Jackson. Let's go! You're not going anywhere without your big game liquid slam. Excellent! Go long. This one's going downtown. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Now I got a full team. Yeah! Yeah! Liquid Slam! Liquid Slam! Oh, 
Come on! Tough day, kids? Well, I've got just the thing. How about some big game pizza pig skins? Awesome! Yeah! You're hungry, got me in a grapple. Big game pizza pig skins <laughs> is my hunger that you tackle. All day, every day, big touchdown, game. Mrs. D. Big game pizza pig skins for your taste, but the touchdown. <laughs> Today's Quick View Review is going to be a book, The Second City, backstage at the world's greatest comedy theater. It's also a CD. It comes with two CDs. Oh, the little thing's falling out. Well, that was what was holding the CD. You can, you can go in the trash. I don't need you. There's two CDs, audio CDs, behind this piece of, of paper here. And it actually says, Happy Graduation, Devin. Love, Tanya? Louisa? Somebody. Pick this up at the Goodwill for like $1.99. Uh, as you can see on the cover, that's a very young Mike Myers, an extremely young Bill Murray, John Belushi, and Chris Farley, and Gilda Radner. Uh, if you don't know who these people are and you don't know what comedy is, then stop watching my channel. What are you even here for? My God. Uh, I, I do my best to be funny. I, I might not be, but... I, I owe it all to these people and watching these things. I loved Martin Short as a kid. There's Martin Short. That's someone I don't know in the top right. All kind of stuff in this book. Interviews with people. Second City is uh, SCTV, if you've ever heard of that. That is a Canadian um, broadcasting. It's basically Saturday Night Live from the 70s and 80s of their, uh, of, from Canada. Uh, and it's a bunch of different, it's a comedy troupe. And they put together a stage and they, they did their own theater shows. And they traveled around. They made their own stuff. And they still do. It's awesome. Check out the Second City. If you like comedy and you know what's good for you, you'll check out. The Second City. Like, subscribe, and comment if you like checking out The Second City, you guys. The Soundtrack Shootout Showdown today is going to be Time Tracks. Versus... Time Cop! Who's got the better songs, you guys? Time Tracks or Time Cop? Let me know down below. Give me a one for Time Tracks and a two for Time Cop. Wicked sweet. Like, subscribe, and comment, guys. If you like people who give ones for comments or twos for comments, or maybe even a three, like, subscribe, and comment, you guys. After these messages, we'll be right back. There's a new girl in town that can't keep a secret. Don't forget her anniversary again. And everything you say, she's gonna repeat it. Get the fuck outside! Oops. Run! Have some fun with Chatty Patty. She's the parrot that talks back. What the fuck are you looking at? Chatty Patty uses a new sound sensing microchip that instantly records your voice when you start talking, then repeats what you say. I'll end you! Give her a compliment, well, she'll you. give it back. You are a fucking piece of shit! Well, you're so nice. Chatty Patty can help get things done. Do it, you bitch! And still keep it fun. Young or old. Hey, cutie pie, give us a kiss. You fucking bitch! Chatty Patty can whistle, too. Fuck! It just means she's happy to see you. Wherever she's needed, that's where you'll find her. Don't fucking stare at me! Because everyone needs a gentle reminder. Get your Chatty Patty, the talkback parrot, today for only $14.99. But wait, call right now and you can double your order. That's a pair of Chatty Patties for $14.99. Call right now and find out about free shipping. Don't wait. Call now. You fucking pussy! The shout-outs today go to all the ridiculous people who put a lot of time into making those parody commercials and doing things. The G.I. Joe stuff, I'm not really sure how to find who made that originally. It's all over the internet. But some of these other commercials, I definitely linked their uh, channels and I've subbed to them and, and put them in the description. Stuff that made me laugh out loud. 
I hope it makes you laugh out loud. I hope you spend the time to watch this full episode. It's a little bit longer than most of my stuff, but that's to, to fit all these stupid commercials in. Thank you guys so much for watching the Captain Retro Show this week. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Share to the world. Tell your friends, dude, this guy is ridiculous, and he picks up cool stuff, and you might like his show. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching the Captain. Captain! Captain!